Welcome. In front of me is a Lenovo Tab 4 and today I'll show you how to hard reset the device through recovery mode. So as you can see I do have a pattern set and I'll, prog and I'll progress from the lock screen as though I wouldn't know it. And to get started, uh, this might be kind of questionable, uh, it's the way that I found a, found a way to basically access the recovery mode, I don't know if it's the only way. But for some reason, holding power key and volume up once the device is off does not boot you into recovery mode. So what I found out I need to do is hold power key volume down. It boots me into fastboot mode. And then once I'm in fastboot mode, I'll hold these two keys, power key and volume up, till the fastboot mode gets reset. And I, when you see the Lenovo logo, you'll let go of the power key. It looks like the stupidest way to access recovery mode I have ever encountered. Uh, hopefully this is not the only way, but at the moment, this is the way that I found to actually access it. So anyway, I'm gonna begin the process by holding the power key, selecting power off. And once the phone, or not phone, but tablet is off, I'm gonna now hold power key and volume down. There we go. So from here, uh, what you want to do apparently is hold power key and volume up. This will forcibly reboot the device after like a couple seconds. There we go. Lenovo logo, let go of the power key. And there we go. So that's the way that I found to actually access it. Anyway, uh, once you're in this recovery mode, uh, you want to use volume keys to navigate. Everything now becomes standard apart from the booting into it. So we want to select Wipe Data Factory. Hello? There we go. Wipe Data Factory Reset. Confirm it with Power Key and select Yes. And again, confirm it. This will, as you can see, begin wiping data. And then at the bottom, we should see data wipe complete once it's finished. And also reboot system now will be selected by default at that point. So all you need to do is press power key once again to reboot the device and the process will continue in the background. Now I'm warning you right now, this will take probably about five to like seven minutes to finish up. So just be patient. Once it has finished, you'll be then greeted with the Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.